Welcome back to News 3 today. The lack of reliable transportation can be a major barrier to upward mobility. Perhaps no one knows this better than the United Way of the Coastal Empire. In fact, the agency hosts an annual fundraising campaign that focuses on meeting the needs of those who need help getting around. Sherry Dean is the Vice President of Direct Services and Impact for the United Way of the Coastal Empire. And Ariane Wallace is the Director of the agency's 211 initiative, but there's a lot more to her title than that. <laughs> they join us now with more. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you. Well, first of all, when we talk about reliable transportation, I mean, people don't think how vital it is in our community in order to help people not only, you know, strive, but to thrive here. Let's talk about what you do and why. Yeah, so we have our Women United Transportation Grant that takes care of um, transportation for women and caregivers of children. So that helps them to get around to work, um, to doctors, to school, get their kids to school. We're able to help them with gas cars, cat bus passes, and we're also able to do minor car repairs for them. How does this all come about? Yes, well, we have a wonderful group of ladies, and there's a woman who rule luncheon, which you know a lot yes. about. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and um, that luncheon this year raised $85,000 wow. so that we can help caregivers and all women with their transportation needs, because we know there's a domino effect if there's a lack of reliable transportation. And we wanna help break and eliminate those barriers so that individuals and families can meet their basic needs and access vital services in the community. Now, I remember when I was a young reporter working at another place across town, I actually took the bus to work every day. And people don't realize how much of a burden, not only financially, but just physically it is to be able to do that. But you're helping to lift the load. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes our job every day we're trying to lift the load off of individuals in our community so being able to give them cat bus passes so that they don't have to take that money that they can use to pay, be able to pay their rent or mm -hmm. you know utility bills by groceries even, yes <laughs> mm -hmm. so um that that's a burden that's lifted off of our community now Ariane, you spoke during the luncheon that sherry mentioned what point were you trying to get across to the audience to people in the community that we are here for you. Mm -hmm. um, United Way is here to help you meet those needs that you are not able to meet. So call us, email us, so that we can help assist you. Now, Sherry, during the break, we mm -hmm. were talking uh, about this being a community yes. effort. It's not just United Way, yes. there are a lot of folks involved. Yes, you know, our mission is to improve lives by mobilizing the caring power of our community. And it's demonstrated so well through the Women United Transportation Fund we provide many grants to local nonprofits and to other organizations like our school systems to provide their clients and their constituents and students and families with the same benefits that you can get when you call 211 Information and Referral Service. So organizations like Senior Citizens Inc., mm -hmm. Keepers of the Flame that provide breast cancer treatment, um, Shelter from the Rain, they help mm -hmm. single moms, and so many others we provide them with many grants, and as long as we have funds available that the community provides, we will continue to provide those many grants to these organizations. And those funds are really helping a lot of people. Mm -hmm. How many people have you reached so far? Annually, we reach about 2,000 wow. individuals to provide what Ariane mentioned as far as gas cars, bus passes, and we actually sit and think, how else can we help eliminate some of these transportation barriers? So this year we added car registration fees, ah. car insurance deductibles, um, and insurance pay, um, payments. Things that create financial hardship and make it difficult to make all of your needs met, especially in the environment we are with increased inflation and housing costs. Providing these transportation um, benefits to the community really helps create funds to help in other areas of their lives. For ordinary people,